Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today I'm going to reveal one of the most important minerals for lowering high blood pressure and improving your heart's health. In fact, research has demonstrated the vital role this mineral plays in your cardiovascular health by reducing your risk of hypertension, stroke, heart attack, and the plaque buildup in your arteries. Now this invaluable mineral is important to the health of every cell and organ, playing a role in over 600 different reactions in your body. So what's the mineral I'm speaking of? Well, before I continue, please make sure you first subscribe to this YouTube channel if you already haven't, while it's fresh on your mind, because I've got some very important videos coming out soon about this topic, and I don't want you to miss out. So, all right, continuing on. This important mineral is magnesium. Now, you see, when magnesium levels are low, you can have major problems in your muscles and organs, including your heart muscles. Now, symptoms of a deficiency can include unexplained fatigue or muscle weakness, abnormal heart rhythms, eye twitching, muscle spasms, restlessness, insomnia, and even hair loss. Unfortunately, determining a deficiency in magnesium from a simple blood test sample isn't possible because only 1% of the magnesium in your body is found in your bloodstream. Instead, most of your magnesium will be found and stored in your bones and organs. Now, it is quite possible to be unaware of a deficiency, which is why uh, magnesium has been dubbed the invisible deficiency. Now, some researchers estimate that up to 80% of Americans do not get enough magnesium from their diet to replace the magnesium lost. Now, I bring this up because studies have shown that less than 25% of U.S. adults are getting the minimum requirements of magnesium, which is only about 300 milligrams for women and 400 milligrams for men. Now, even more concerning to your overall health is that these amounts are just barely enough to stop your body from experiencing the overt symptoms of deficiency, but not enough to support optimal health. Now, I can go on and on about the importance of magnesium, but I hope you get the point. However, today I want to focus on lowering your blood pressure. And if you don't already know, about one out of three Americans, that's 33%, suffer from high blood pressure, hypertension, which can increase your risk for having a heart attack or stroke. Sadly, only half of these people, you know, they don't even know that they have hypertension and less than 20% actually have this under control with typically with medication. In fact, having high blood pressure is known as the silent killer because there are no real symptoms. Now, other than getting your blood pressure tested regularly, it's hard to tell if yours will be elevated or if it's normal. However, the good news is that in a clinical study, people who had the highest levels of serum magnesium had a 48% low risk of hypertension, 69% low risk for type 2 diabetes, and 42% low risk for CAG, which is the hardening of your arteries. So again, all very positive for your heart and overall health. Now, some have even said that it's better than a drug. Now, one type of drug prescribed for hypertension are calcium channel blockers. And these are medications which relax and widen blood vessels, therefore allowing the blood flow through the blood vessels smoothly, again, lowering your blood pressure. And the good news is that magnesium acts like a natural calcium channel blocker, easing blood vessels flow and lowering blood pressure, again, naturally without any synthetic drugs. And it was found in a human clinical study of more than 8,500 people that the higher intake of magnesium may decrease the risk of high blood pressure. So next question is, where do you get your magnesium from? Unfortunately, getting optimal magnesium levels can be difficult because most foods are depleted of vitamins and minerals, and most supplements of magnesium are just poorly absorbed. But let's first talk about the foods. As far as the best magnesium-rich foods, most of the time it's greens and vegetables, right? Such as spinach and, and turnip greens, kale, um, beet greens, broccoli, bok choy, uh, collard greens, Brussels sprouts, and romaine lettuce. Also, you want to do raw seeds such as pumpkin and sesame and sunflower have the highest raw nuts, not cooked. Cashews, almonds, and Brazilian uh, Brazil nuts are some of the best sources. And also fatty fish, wild-caught Alaskan salmon and mackerel are the best sources. Next, we have supplements. Listen, obviously taking a pill is a lot easier for most of us and a lot more efficient. Unfortunately, there are about nine or more common forms of magnesium supplements, which can get very confusing, such as magnesium amino acid chelate, the oxide, citrate, orotate, you know, chloride, lactate, sulfate. 
uh, carbonate, glycinate, you, you name it, there's a ton. And the difference between all of these is that some are better absorbed than others, and some will cause maybe diarrhea at a higher dosage, some are better at relaxing your muscle, some are better at reducing stress, so on and so forth. So the next question is, all right, so what's the best form? Now, over the years, I've tested many different forms and combinations, and I've discovered the best is a combination of four different magnesiums, which are clinically proven for maximum absorption. And that's a special Trax magnesium glycinate, amino acid chelate, um, a dimagnesium malate, and also magnesium citrate. And you can see in this graph that the better uh, that 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 is better absorption using these four specific magnesiums. In fact, when this combination is added with other key herbs and vitamins, you're almost guaranteed lower blood pressure without any change in your diet or exercise. And under today's video, I have a link to the other ingredients that I suggest, including the correct dosages of which you can take. So make sure you take a look, uh, click the link under today's video. Well, that's it for today. You know, I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel. If you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your questions and comments below and make sure you click the link below for the best vitamins and herbs that are clinically proven to lower your blood pressure in just a few days. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.